Hello and welcome to the channel. I am happy to report that I now have a working R36S handheld. Um, short backstory to this is I bought this in February of 2024 and fooled around with it for quite a few months. Uh, very happy with it. Loved it. Set it down in June, I think, for a couple months over the summer. Um, was more outside than inside doing things and picked it up in August at some point, tried to boot it up and it would only go to the, the loading screen where it showed the three consoles and then a banner would come up and say some type of booting failure. So, and then it would go black and it kept doing that over and over and over. I could not figure out how to fix it. I looked around online, see if I could find some solutions and tried a few things I found. Um, they did not work. So I made a video, put it on my channel. Um, I will put a link to that in the original video I have on the console in the description below. And I got quite a few comments on that video asking, you know, for solutions or easy fixes. And um, there were some new ones I tried. Um, they didn't work again. And I got a few comments about telling me to switch out the... SD card, get a new one, um, and put the new Arcos operating system on it and um, back up your ROMs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the one um, comment had a, had a link to it, which I want to give a shout out to Zany T13. Uh, we shouted out many comments back and forth and he gave me some support and um, encouraged me to do it. And I finally broke down to do try it, I should say. Um, I ordered the 64 gigabyte SanDisk brand card, since mine only came with one card, which was 64 gigabyte. And I also purchased uh, the card reader. Um, the disc was $9.99. The micro SD was $9.99 on Amazon, and the card reader was $4.99 on Amazon. Um, I could put the links underneath if you're interested. But I waited for about a week, got them, and then over the weekend, I attempted this. So um, I started with watching the video once more um, and followed this guy step by step. I'm not going to put my step by step out because I'm not that techie, but I watched his video again while I was doing this and it helped immensely. Um, so I downloaded um, a few of the files off the original SD card um, onto my computer. And then I backed up all my ROMs, which took quite a few hours because there's like 36,000 some type files on that. So it was about close to four hours it took me to download it all. Um, so that went fine. Um, then I just started installing the, the new, the latest Arcos operating system on the new SD card. And that went fine. I put that card in there to see if it would boot up, and it would boot up. No ROMs yet. So I took that out. Um, I had all the ROMs on my computer, and then I went to use the card reader and put the new SD card in there and put all the ROMs in the ROM folder. And I had my doubts. This was all going to work. Um, but after about... I would say almost six hours in total of doing all this. Um, it was finally done. I went to boot it up. It booted up right and it is working. Um, I'll bring the camera in closer and show you a few things. Um, there was, with the new Arcos operating system, there was a few different things and a few settings I had to change to get it back to how my original one went. I never wanted to touch the Arcos um, operating system on the original one and just kept it that way. And I'm glad I updated it now. So all in all, um, if you're having this booting problem with it booting only to a certain point and um, becoming a black screen and turning off by itself, um, I highly recommend doing what I did. And I will put the link to that video showing you how to do it all um, in the comments below. So you can do it. So I'm going to bring the camera in closer, show you a few things, and that'll be it. I wanted to bring these in closer so you can get a better look at these. This is the 64 gigabyte micro SD card I bought on Amazon for $9.99. That is the old SD card 
in there. Um, and this is the card reader I bought for $4.99. Two slots here. Um, worked out perfectly. Happy with my choices, and they weren't too expensive. So let's get this started now and turned on. Let's see, turn this on here. And the newer Arcos system, um, when you turn it on, has different loading screens, which is kind of neat. That'll go through its um, load up here. And there it goes. I have it um, starting on my um, NES games. You can have it start up on numerous things in the settings. Uh, but the settings are in here. Bring this in closer. Uh, display, UI, sound, game settings, emulator settings, scraper, advanced, quit. My battery's at 65% there. And right there is the Arcos 2.0. Uh, 8.23.2024, I guess, was the latest released version I downloaded. Um, there's some um, advanced settings here. Time zone. Clocks, switch A and B buttons, power buttons, power save modes, language, RAM, save metadata. I think there's more down below this, too. Uh, these are a little bit different than the original um, Arcos I had on here before this. So that's that. Go back to that. Go through these. There's Nintendo, NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Mega Drive, Dreamcast, Game Gear, Neo Geo, PlayStation, PSP, Options, and RetroArch, and then the Capcoms, and Main. PC Engine, Family Computer, Super Famicom. So those are all the games. I have not tried to upload any new games onto this. Um, since this is a 64 gigabyte card, I think it's close to being 60 gigabyte full. So you'd have to be um, selective, I think. But I'm not sure about that. I will probably just leave it as is. Um, here's the games. I'll just go into one and uh, let's see. I don't know what to do. Let's just go to where's it at? Uh, let's try this one. Just an example to show you it's working, loading. Push start. Kind of hard to do behind the camera here, but I'll try it. Oops. Well, that's it. I just wanted to show you how to, that it was loading and everything like that. Let's go back to that. So that's it. It's working for me. I'm happy that I got it working again because I just about gave up and was searching around for another handheld. But I gave in and I go, I might as well try something to see if I can fix this. And if it don't get fixed, it don't get fixed. So I gave it a shot. Uh, look in the comments. I'll have the link to that video I watched to do all this. And I'll have the link to my videos of this in the description. So thank you for watching. If you have this problem, hope you can get yours fixed. Let me know in the comments. Um, any comments, you know, good or bad, I'd like to hear them. Thanks for watching.